Hi, Ananda here. Happy full moon in Leo. I hope you're enjoying it. It's beautiful outside. I have not, well, I hear it's beautiful. I haven't been able to see it yet. It's just coming over the back of my house. Um, I'm not going to get too into the um, astrology of right now um, because the message that I'm receiving is very clear and simple. With Mercury retrograde right around the corner, I think this is this message is right on time. Now, if you are if you are a person who sort of um, dreads Mercury retrograde, I want to challenge you to change how you think about it, how you see it, because all the transits are for us if we work with the energy that's available. And Mercury retrograde is really, really nice, actually, in a lot of ways, because it, the ability to go back, redo things, revise, rethink, rework, can be a lot of fun. And it can save us so much heartache in the future. And so the message I'm receiving about this, well, let me back up a little bit. So as you can see, I'm, I'm sitting here, I've got some rectangles in front of me on this watercolor paper. And the part of me that is an artist has been experiencing a pretty serious creative block for a while. I have all these paintings that I haven't been able to finish for quite a while. And actually, I'm gonna turn this right there. She's one of them. I've been working on her for over a year and I just can't, I don't know. Like I just can't seem to finish these paintings. When I look at them, I don't know what to do. I feel overwhelmed. And then when I think about painting something new, I don't know where to start. It's like I can't, I can't move through this block. And at the same time, I have this need to make art or to just paint, to put color on paper or form or line or something. There's that need. And so my muse said to me, well, Ananda, it doesn't always have to be so deep. Art doesn't always have to mean something. And I thought, oh my God, you mean art can just be decorative? And of course it can, but you know, I'm one of those people, you know, I have to it has to mean something it has to be this deep thing, but it doesn't. That was like a huge aha moment for me. Oh my God, it doesn't have to be so deep all the time. And then I thought, well, I found a, there was something blocking there. And then my muse said to me, go back to the basics. Just go back to the very basic building blocks of art making. And where maybe at a different time, I would be like, no, fuck that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do some elementary shit. I want to do some like advanced art making. But in that moment, it was exactly what I needed to hear and do. And as I'm doing it, man, I'm having a great time. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a like the most basic exercise in watercolor painting. It's an exercise of transparencies where I take one color and find five tones within it from lighter to darker, as you can see. And where this sounds like and probably looks like a really easy, simple thing, it's deceptively more difficult than it looks. Because, you know, as you can see here, these two look really similar and they shouldn't. These two look really similar and they shouldn't. These are still drying, so I don't know yet. And then if I use different brushes, you know, for instance, if I use this brush, I have to use more water. If I use this brush, I can make a better shape. And these simple, simple things we forget as we 
progress. Now this metaphor can apply to anything. And the thing that I'm really wanting to propose is that what if we went back to the basics about how we view each other? What if we stopped compartmentalizing each other into political beliefs or preference of president? Because when we do that, we forget and we dehumanize each other. And it's really easy to do on social media. 2020 was incredibly disappointing to me in that way. And the, the Leo Aquarius axis, if we bring it down to the nuts and bolts of what it is, it's the axis of love. It's how we give love, receive love, all the things we do with love, how we try to control it. Oh, I almost spilled my water. Um, how we try to withhold it, how we try to manipulate it, all the things that we do with love is in this full moon right now. And love is the most basic of thing of everything, of all that we do. If we boil it down, it's really supposed to be about love. And so what if we were able to see the different aspects of each other instead of just one thing. I think this is really needed. I think that <laughs> 2020, we all learned a lot more about each other than I think we wanted to. And a lot of it was very disappointing. And it's hard to, it's hard to separate some of those things. And I'm not saying that some things shouldn't be separated and called out because they should. But we are more than just one thing. Our next door neighbor is an elderly woman and we learned this year that she is a full on racist. She legitimately believes that the civil rights movement is the worst thing to ever happen to our country. And I really wish I didn't know that about her because I still do her grocery shopping for her sometimes during the pandemic. My partner mows her lawn because her children who live five minutes away can't bother to come see her. And then when I think about it like that, I have this compassion for her. What is her life experience that has her thinking that way? Why won't her children come see her? There is a multi-dimensional story there that makes her human. I can't forgive that she's you know, racist, but I'm still going to treat her with dignity. It's basic, basic block, dignity, respect, and love. And that is the message of the message I'm receiving this full moon in Leo and for this upcoming Mercury retrograde. So whatever you're feeling a block blockage in, Find a way to go back to the basics, and I think you'll find some comfort there. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Much love.